so hi guys and welcome to our second episode of our let's play firstly i'm really sorry for the audio in the last episode i am using uh, the game dvr microsoft has and yeah it's really weird with the audio control so hopefully i fix it this time um well yeah i will have fixed it this time as else you won't have fixed this video but i'm currently in forza vista visa whatever you want to call it we're just having a look uh, through the cars here. This is the Golf R that we drove in the previous episode. Let me get it started up. Find the right dot. Where is it? That one. It sounds nice, isn't it? But <laughs> that's enough playing around. Right, let's go back and continue our career. Forza Hub is the place to go for the latest game, car, and racing news, and for special gifts to the Forza community. Go there now to unlock a unique car for your next event. Sounds good, why not? Let's do it. Okay then, so I've now redeemed that. Let's see what it is. But now, uh, if you remember in the previous episode, we did the Pony Car series and the Super uh, Street Hero. So I'm trying to aim to do two every episode so we do the exclusive performance in this episode and we'll try and do the uh, raptor strike as well which seems pretty awesome but now let's uh, start this let's have a look at the uh, objective so so we've got to get third or better this time and then the bonus objectives is a lap time under 125 reach 160 miles an hour and drive with the assisted braking off which you do already so this is looking good let's see how it is The modern GT. To see one on the road is a rare treat. To drive one is a thrill never forgotten. These are the cars that inherit all the proven racing technology of their more exotic track-bound cousins, wrapping it in excellent finish work, rich materials, and an exterior designed to turn heads on the road. But when the stadium lights turn on and the signal lights turn green, it's staggering acceleration, rail tight cornering and blistering lap times that do the talking. I really do like those cutscenes. It's something different for the racing games. I mean, you don't get them in project cars in a set of course, so I really do like that. But here we go. This is our uh, car that we've unlocked, the 2012 GTR Black Edition. So there is actually a new GTR now. It's a facelift design. Um, I'm guessing pretty much uh, the same interior, but upgraded components and stuff so these are the three cars that we can choose from a uh, VTOL Vantage S featuring the uh, new gearbox to Aston make which is much better than the previous so that, that's an option XKRS GT pretty mental uh, or the uh, GTR so these are some of the other cars a California T so I haven't driven one of those yet AMG GTS like uh, uh, supercars of London if you know them on YouTube and a Z06, so oh, I'm like, I want to drive that. I really do want to drive that, but I think. I'm going to go with the Jaguar. I don't need you go for it, so why not? Let's, let's have a go. Let's see how it is. I think I've driven the XKR S before, but not the RS GT. So it's going to be nice to see how this all works. Try and go for a wacky paint job if that's possible. <sighs> oh, is there anything nice? A wooden, no. Oh, I don't know what to go for. go with this let's see how this goes saving please do not exit the app or turn off your device looks nice red will satin red satin wrap really looks nice it looks mean though this thing we're off to a night race at the Yars Marina circuit Yars with Marina track temperatures <laughs> cooling after sunset your tires won't provide as much grip in order to win here your challenge will be to find the limit of traction without going over it. I'm pretty sure this Jaguar doesn't have any traction at all, but we'll see how it goes. 
It's a night racing. The first time we've done a night race in uh, Forza Apex. So, interested to see how this goes. Okay, so that took a while to load. Right. So all the objectives are down the side. Yeah, hopefully we can do that in this thing. It might be a little bit slippy, so I'm not sure about the uh, lap under. Drive retard difficulty. Let's have it on highly skilled again. I do need to get a bit more experience before I get to expert. So obviously I'm not an expert yet. And probably never will be. Right. The loading time so in this thing. Not the best. I have noticed some lag on uh, Yas Marina. Lost, uh, it's loading then, so yeah. Right, lighting on the um, wrap sort of thing on the car looks like a bit weird, but this grid looks nice. R8, silver LFA, I think it's three Astons, it's a GTR, and that Corvette Z06, this is awesome. And we've been rammed already. Nice to know that uh, Forza AI is working as good as usual. Oh, dude. Yeah, a bit laggy around here, I have to say. Right, and brake. Whoa, brakes are not good. I can get some places here. Spin the wheels around here. Right now, go and get the power down. Racing the AMG GTS. They do look nice on the front. I'm not sure about the back though. I think I prefer the SLS. I think the SLS as a whole I do prefer. Oh, got that. 160 miles an hour. We hit them. In fact, I think we hit 161. Beat that. Yeah, it doesn't like putting the power down, <laughs> as expected from a uh, RS car. Right, LFA, look at the colour of that. We're mismatching our colour on the Jag. Brake. Brake. <laughs> Brake. California T up in front. Oh, they do sound good. They do break a lot, don't they? I watch the cones. It's a fourth. Third. Second. Yeah, I can't. I don't want to break at this thing. Keep it neat around here. Okay, it's straight and now on the power. Don't ram me, please. It's fourth. Now we've got to do a 1 minute 25 back time next. And if that's possible. And break. It's a second. Nice. Right, there's the guy in third. We've got to get his space. Come on, come on, we can do it. Right, into fourth. Can we overtake the Z06, I wonder? Track Focus Corvette. They do look really nice. I have to say, I think that's got the uh, optional uh, wing. I think there's three options that you can go for on the uh, Z06. One is more just for straight line speed, and then you got. It's the third option, I think. I'm not sure what the second option is, but the third option is more of your track spec with a huge wing. I think that's what's in the game. And I'm pretty sure you'd be able to customise it in the uh, upgrade shop, but I don't think we have that on the PC version yet. Let's go. That Nissan GTR is off. That really good a straight line speed. to fifth. Right, come on. Right. Break. Oh, he's got me. I'm 
Got him back. Yeah, I've got to defend that uh, place well. Because he can take that. He has got the power. Don't quote me on it, but I think it's about 660 horsepower, that thing. Instead of 6. Not too sure, though. Pretty sure it's over 600. Right, can we overtake the uh, banana GTR? Come on, put your power down. I'm into second now. First place is miles ahead. Wow, he turned in on me. No! <laughs> I thought we lost that. Let him take that. We can get that inside line. Let's go. Where is he? He's all the way back there. Right, come on, Jag. I'm on the last lap now. Bring it home. Bring it home for us. And change it into fifth in a second. Now. Break up the 200. No. <laughs> I think they both went right, the uh, GTR and the Corvette. But here we are on the home stretch, nothing else left to do. Into fourth and across the line. A bit of lag when we finish there. Second place. New badge unlocked. We got all of them. Let's see how much we did. We should have over a million from that. Yeah, easy. New high score. Nice. A new driver level. Amateur. New car. Genesis. M235i. I do like those. California T. Nice. Like that. So, now let's continue. Okay then, so now we have done exclusive performance. You can see the high score there. Um, we've got all the achievements and everything, so now let's move on to Raptor Strike. So I've done quite a few of these before, I believe, on the um, uh, standard Xbox version of Forza, but with a Raptor, uh, it looks pretty good. Let's have a look at the objectives. So 500,000 um, bowling points, um, under 120, or ABS breaking off for extra points, maybe. Yeah, why not? Let's give that a go. Let's see what it's got in store for us, though. Car bowling is a deceptively simple idea. In fact, it's pretty much like normal bowling, but without the slippery floor and ugly shoes. We've positioned some bowling pins around the Top Gear track. It's your job to knock them down by driving around as sideways as possible with lots of smoke pouring off your tires. Okay, I do love this thing though, the new Raptor. I mean, just look at it. I love the rims, I love the tyres, I love the grille, it looks so aggressive, I really do like it. But it's also got 450 horsepower, which I like that as well, so let's go for it. Um, right, what colour? Blue or blue? Or we could go for a special colour. Looks good in green. Got some with carbon, matte carbon. Kevlar, swirls. That'll look kind of cool. Like that. That does look cool. One army colour. Decisions, decisions. Right, what should we go for? A chrome raptor? What are the normal colours? What do they have? That one's nice. I'm gonna go with that. That looks pretty nice. It's sort of an orangey yellow. Don't you should go for that sort of colour. I'm guessing it's not that popular on this Raptor. It's sort of a must English mustard colour. Like it. Your next race will be at the Top Gear test track. Won't call it a race. The world famous Top Gear television program. That is starting very soon. The new version. Chris Evans. Right. Assists. Let's turn. Um, breaking a BS off. Um, for 125 um, race points. Right, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. I never do 
that well first try on these, but we'll see how we go. This raptor though. They are so huge. Let's go in this view. Listen to the sound of that. Right. Gotta really concentrate, brakes. Oh, the brakes make these difficult. Right, we have to either go quick and get that 120 time. I went left there. But to get most of them, I right, should put up. Check in. Don't miss them. Oh. Let's go over here. So then, that was good. All right, we got four hundred thousand. Ah, uh, it was bad. We haven't got one, one minute twenty though. Whoa, <laughs> I'm not used to this uh, ABS or Ugh. Let's go across the line. 512,000, not bad. We got all, almost all of them. What time did we get there? It doesn't actually say what time I got. Difficulty, zero. Really? New high score. Oh, new car. Nice. AMG GTS, like them. Freddy SLS, I think I've said that before. Firebird. Cool. Right, what time did we get? It doesn't actually say anywhere, does it? But I'm 17,000th in the world. The winner got 1 million. 500,000 Pretty good I don't know how we can get it though under 1 minute 20 That's the thing But anyway Let's see where we got to now Right then so we have done in episode 1 we did Pony Car and Super Street, in this episode we did the exclusive performance and then the uh, strike there which is kind of fun. But if you've uh, enjoyed this episode make sure you click that like and uh, also make sure you subscribe for the next video. Uh, the Falls videos will be going live every Tuesday, they'll be around 20 minutes or so so stay tuned for that and in the next episode if you want to hint already. Um, or if you haven't got the point yet, to, to each episode, we're going to be doing Italian Greats at Spa, which I, I do love that track. And we'll also be doing Speed Without Limits. And judging by the uh, thumbnail there, that looks pretty interesting. So make sure you uh, tune for that. And all I have to say is thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon. See you guys.